consumption of dairy products and particularly the fermented dairy products as yogurt and cheese seem to have some protective effect on cardiovascular disease but also on, on type 2 diabetes. And um, we know a lot of information we have from epidemiological studies, from observational population studies, and we used to analyze the studies in a way where we looked at those who have a high consumption compared with those who had a low consumption. Today we, we have a different way to analyze it because, you know, those who have a low consumption of dairy, what do they eat instead of the dairy? Some will have something fruit and vegetables and others will maybe eat some refined carbohydrates. So it really, whether it's, it's good or bad to have a high or low, it really depends on what you compare with. So it, it's much more a food-based uh, analysis in the research. And uh, I think generally we can say from all the population studies that a high intake of dairy products are associated with a small but significant decrease in the risk of cardiovascular disease. And it's uh, particularly stroke where it seems to be reduced. And we know that uh, there are many properties of dairy products that assist in, in um, doing the job. Uh, we used to simply say, take a cheese and look at the label and say, oh, it's high in saturated fat, so therefore it's bad. But today we know that there are also a lot of protein, a very high in, in content of calcium that are, are important. So there's a lot of nutrients that actually exert different effect on both on, on for body weight regulation, for type 2 diabetes, but also for cardiovascular disease. So I think that we have gained a lot of new information over the last 10 years that actually have uh, diversified our view on, on dairy products and also on, on the different nutrients that are typical for dairy products. We can also see from some of the population studies that uh, for dairy products it looks like that the fermented products such as yogurt and cheese seems to be more healthy than others. And it's probably due to some of the, the byproducts in, by the box in the, the bacteria in, in the yogurts and cheese that they produce some different maybe short chain uh, fatty acids and other products that, that have some health benefits. And it may vary uh, from what kind of, of bacteria it is, but generally when we look at the con those who consume uh, yogurts and also from randomized trials, that there are some of, of these uh, bacteria strains that have some health benefits. And that's also, today we have recognized that the, all the billions of bacteria we have in the, in the gut are extremely important for our health. So uh, instead of having a capsule with bacteria, it's much better to have it in, in, in a yogurt. And it can be very tasty and uh, you can keep it in the fridge. And for many people, it's also, uh, you know, you medicalize them if they're going to take drugs. Whereas to have yogurts is something that is very normal and it also provides them with other, other benefits. So as long as you don't add too much sugar into the yogurt, uh, I think it's, it's very healthy and it's a good way to facilitate uh, some uh, bacteria strains that could be useful for many people who, who need some improvements.